Okay, well, uh, here's a, a quick short uh, video uh, regarding this uh, rather interesting little beast I uh, picked up recently. This is a home built uh, AM transmitter uh, for the amateur top band. Uh, it's uh, a delightful uh, 1960s uh, built valved rig. Um, this particular example uh, dates to 1963. And it's your fairly classic master oscillator power amplifier type transmitter. And uh, it's, it's had an overhaul and it's now uh, all working. So we'll uh, give it a quick go. And this here is the uh, mains on switch. So we'll have to give it uh, 30 seconds or so for the heaters to come on. Uh, fairly standard uh, mains voltage. Uh, runs on UK 240 volts mains. Uh, high tension in here. Uh, is I think off the top of my head 300 volts. Um, I could be could be wrong. Uh, power output valve is an EL84. Uh, normally used as an audio amplifier actually, uh, but it's quite unusual to see it as a RF power amplifier. All the same. Uh, here we have a crystal selection switch. So uh, up is the external crystal contacts. Uh, just here. A bit flick down uh, that selects uh, an old air ministry crystal, a piece of wartime surplus inside. And the frequency, you, know, you probably can't see that very well, is a uh, 1981 kilohertz top band, which just so happens to be uh, UK, uh, one of the UK standard frequencies for AM operation. So uh, it's had enough time on the, uh, the filament now. This here is the, uh, the plate current meter. And uh, if we now switch high tension on, we have about 34 milliamps there. Just uh, dip the plate, and that's about as good as it gets. So uh, that's just over 12 milliamps there on the plate. Uh, we're not transmitting at this time, uh, we're running it into a, uh, a fairly standard 15 watt double load. The additional control we have here, this is uh, antenna matching. You'll see that uh, plate current varies by about 2 milliamps as uh, we rotate that. But uh, there's very little variation because it's pretty much perfectly matched into our 50 ohm demi load here. Uh, additional controls we have done here, this is uh, microphone input and the control to the same. Uh, the audio stages are quite nice, there's a microphone preamp, buffer, and another EL84 uh, audio output valve um, driving a, uh, a plate modulation transformer which is quite hefty uh, and uh, yeah, the, the whole rig itself I have had it on a soak test uh, if you leave it transmitting to a dummy load for an hour or so it gets pretty hot but uh, there have been no issues um, but minor heat issues uh, with wax melting. Uh, it's a quite an old issue. Some wax has melted off of uh, the outside of one of the transformers in the past. There's a lovely little puddle down there, so when it heats up, it uh, smells pretty good. So that's most of there is to it. Uh, this knob here isn't actually connected to anything inside. It must have been once, but someone's uh, modified it. And uh, yeah, there we go. The, uh, the rig itself, as I said, was built in 1963 uh, from a mixture of. Uh, then new and surplus components. Uh, this is a surplus wartime RAF milliamp meter. Uh, most of the components inside are surplus. This front plate with the engraved uh, writing on it uh, is actually uh, got US Navy acceptance stamps. So this is obviously a piece of US Naval surplus. And I'm guessing we've got input resonance and tuning written on it. I'm guessing it's from an item of transmitting equipment, uh, presumably a power amplifier with the input there, or it may well be a, a piece of uh, ground test equipment. Um, but yeah, if anyone recognises the uh, layout there, that front plate, I would uh, be quite interested in knowing uh, exactly what's been scavenged to uh, to give us this. So that's, that's probably about long enough now for a simple test. So uh, that's high tension off. and. Uh, mains off. Uh, perhaps I'll update this at a future point. Uh, I do have a watt meter. I've currently packed it away. It's uh, been used on another project. 
but the output, I think I forgot to mention it, is uh, just over 7.5 watts from the, the single EL84. So yeah, all in all, she's a, a very nice old uh, transmitter, and uh, hopefully at some point in the future there'll be uh, another video of it on the air. Thank you for, uh, for watching.